Camp and Sharon. On today's video, I wanna talk about the gift giving season, but we're not gonna do Christmas cards. I've been doing some Christmas cards in the past few videos, and today I wanna to talk about something different. I hope that you're inspired. I hope that this answers some questions that you may have. And if you currently already don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be honored to help you with your Stampin' Up! supply needs. You can find my store, how to contact me, all in the description box below this video. Just click that read more button. While you're there, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and then hit the little bell. You'll be notified every time I upload a video. Let me show you what I'm talking about today. Since we're coming up on the gift giving season, I wanted to give you an idea. Now this idea can work two ways. You can create the cards that come in the gorgeous posy card kit and then give the whole beautiful box as a gift with the cards already made and the envelopes included. Or you could purchase the Gorgeous Posy card kit and the Gorgeous Posy's um, stamp set and give both of them as a gift to a crafter or a stamping friend. Um, I know that I have several family members that, hmm, this really kind of hit home with them. And I'm thinking, wow, what a great present to give someone. We're gonna open up the box and the first tip I have for you, when I got the ribbon, it was kind of wrapped like this and it was in a Ziploc bag. I wanted to straighten it out. And the same thing goes for the Baker's twine. See how curly it is? And I couldn't tie my bow well. So here's your first tip, a hair straightener. Now this is a tiny one that my daughter gave me for like my bangs. I never use it on my hair. No, life's too short. I just, <laughs> I tried, can't use it. But I was like, well, I'll hang on to it. It might come in handy. It comes in very handy that you just run your ribbon through and it's straight. Amazing, amazing. So you can get these in all different sizes, but you only need this size for your craft room. In the card kit, you get some instructions. Now. The print is pretty tiny, but I think you can still understand um, how to put each of the cards together. They give you a picture of all of them. And I wanted to follow the rules and actually make the cards the way that they were designed. Super easy, very quick. I'm telling you, these cards go together very quick. So if you decide to give this as a gift to someone, just know that it's gonna take you just like no time um, to make and assemble 16 cards. You get 16 cards, four different designs. So here's one, you see there's my little straight bow without any curls in it. Here's the other one. Here's the third. And then here's the fourth. Now they all come with coordinating cardstock for you to add your card layer, but these things are gorgeous. Can you see the gold highlights? I mean, what an elegant card, so pretty. So here are my extra pieces that I have and my extra card bases, okay? And then here's the envelopes that you could stamp one of the flowers or something that comes in the stamp set. And then it comes with die cuts for your sentiment layers and then little posies and leaves. These are all die cuts. You just punch them out like that. So here's another sentiment layer. Then after I followed the rules and made four cards the same, I wanted to get creative. And I thought, well, maybe my viewers would want to get creative as well. So I grabbed my Versamark pad, my stamps, and I decided this had so much white space that maybe I could do some stamping, like stamp the flower on here. And I didn't want to try to match any of the colors because I was trying to pull in more of that gold accent. I wanted to emboss with gold. First, I need to get the static out of my cardstock, and I'm just using a dryer sheet. Next, I'm going to ink up my stamp. Now this is a distinctive stamp, which means that you can see all of the details, but not when you use embossing powder. Okay. 
I'm also going to emboss on one of the die cut sentiment layers. Sorry, I don't want to get my head in the camera. <laughs> and now I'm going to heat set. So as I mentioned, it was a distinctive stamp, but I kind of lost some of the, of the dimensional part of the distinctive, including like my center. So we're gonna fix that. First, we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive. And we're gonna attach it to our card front. And then I'm gonna take my metallic pearls and we're gonna recreate the center where we lost our stamp. Next, I'm gonna add some dimensionals to the back of my sentiment layer. Pretty quick and easy, huh? But look how elegant it looked. It's just, I just was so happy, so I kept on going. So next, we're gonna make a get well card. Again, I'm gonna use my Versamark. And I'm gonna wipe off my little circle die cut. and we're gonna heat set that. I grabbed a scrap of uh, gold foil and my two and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm gonna add some adhesive. We're gonna give that a little mat. While we have our adhesive here, we're gonna go ahead and add that to our layer. Place it on our card base. Add some dimensionals. So pretty much I'm adding gold and dimensionals just to change these cards up a little bit. Look at that, just sheer elegance, very quick. Now, if you don't have gold foil, or gold embossing, you can still add some gold embellishments with the foil and then just stamp the sentiment with, I think this was Gorgeous Grape. So I hope I've inspired you to use the Gorgeous Posies card kit and the Gorgeous Posy stamp set to give as a gift this season or just simply make them for yourself. They're beautiful. And then for you to mail these to people, they will love them. Happy stamping, y'all. Mm -hmm.